poem gave you. And I learned a story from Master Iago, which I have always loved and will always love, because it's very, very true. The, tit, the title of my story is Goldie Hat and the Three Peers. <laughs> Once upon a time, there were three peers, a birdie peer, a shrubby peer, and a shitty peer, who lived in a little house in the middle of the forest. One morning, Shrubby Peer and Shivy Peer woke up to find that Birdie Peer had spent all night making an elaborate breakfast <coughs> of porridge. <laughs> the three peers sat down to eat. Birdie Peer said, This porridge that I stayed up all night making is too hot. Shrubby Peer said, I'm sure they never serve porridge this temperature and period. <laughs> Shivy Peer said, Ow! <laughs> well, said Burning Pier, there's no sense in wasting time while we wait for it to cool. Let's go tidy the forest. Good idea, said Shrubby Pier. I need to find some new plants for my research. Shivy Pier said, pretty trees. <laughs> and off they went. While they were gone, a beautiful young girl in her retinue approached the house. She was called Goldie Hat because of her elaborate gold-plated headgear. <laughs> they went into the kitchen. Food taster, taste that porridge. That porridge is too hot, your worthiness. Food taster, taste that porridge. That porridge is too cold, your worthiness. Food taster, taste that porridge. That porridge is just right, your worthiness. And so Goldie Hat ate the porridge. Then she went into the living room. Chair taster. Test that spot on the floor where a chair would be if Bertie Pierre ever sat down. That spot on the floor where a chair would be if Bertie Pierre ever sat down is too hard, your worthiness. Chair tester. Test that elaborately hand carved chair with intricately embroidered pillows. That elaborately hand carved chair with intricately embroidered pillows is too soft, your worthiness. Chair tester, test that lazy boy. <laughs> that lazy boy is just right, your worthiness. So Goldie Hat sat in the lazy boy. She put the back down, she put the back up, she put the back down, she put the feet up, she put the feet down, she put the feet up, rock back, rock forth, rock back, rock forth, spong. <coughs> well, now having completed food theft and destruction, she was tired. And she went upstairs to the bed. Bed tester. Test that spot on the floor where a bed would be if Bertie Pierre ever slept. <laughs> that spot on the floor where a bed would be if Bertie Pierre ever slept is too hard, your worthiness. Bed tester, test that pile of green leafy branches. That pile of green leafy branches is too soft, your worthiness. Bed tester, test that racing car bed. <laughs> that red, racing car bed is just right, your worthiness. So Goldie Hat lay down, put her gold-plated headgear under the pillow, and fell fast asleep, which is how you fall asleep in a racing car bed. <laughs> <laughs> a little while later, the three peers came home. They went into the kitchen, and Bertie Pierce said, Someone has been eating the porridge that I spent all night making. Shrubby Pierce said, Someone's been eating my porridge and they used the wrong spoon. <laughs> and Shivy Pierce said, Hungry. <laughs> the three peers then went into the living room. Bertie Pierce said, Someone's been sitting on the spot on the floor where a chair would be if I ever sat down. Shrubby Pierce said, Somebody's been putting their filthy fingers all over my elaborately hand-carved chair with intricately embroidered pillows. <laughs> and Shivy here said, Busted! <laughs> the three peers went upstairs. Bertie Pierce said, Someone's been sleeping on the spot on the floor where a bed would be if I ever slept. Shrubby Pierce said, Someone's been resting on my laurels. <laughs> I didn't write it, folks. Nice. <laughs> and Shivy Pierce said, Woman. <laughs>
Goldie Hat woke up. She sat up, took out her elaborate gold-plated headgear, and put it on her head. Bertie Pierce said, your worthiness. Shrubby Pierce said, your worthiness. Shivy Pierce said, shiny. <laughs> and so the three peers joined Goldie Hat's retinue, and they went around invading houses all over the kingdom, and they all lived happily ever after. <laughs>